We have a line here. We have point A right here. What are the coordinates of point A? X, Y coordinates of that point? One, negative three. Okay. Can you measure the slope of this line? Go for it. Calculate the slope of that line, please. And I'm going to freeze it. We'll see if we get the same. Well, I haven't frozen. We ready? Yeah. Did you get two? Yeah. Doesn't matter where you draw your triangle. If I use the blue triangle, it's two over one. If I use the red triangle, because they all go through the corners, uh, it's four over two, which is still two. Okay? Yes? All right. So we have a slope of two. Do you see those numbers? In that equation, where are they? You don't see what? Negative three is not in there, is it? It is, but it's hidden. Okay. Yes, because I can rewrite this as okay. Because if you're subtracting a negative, that's just adding a positive, okay? So it's still there. So we have all the numbers. This is a different form of the equation. What we learned up until this point was it's mx plus b. There's your slope. What was b again? The y intercept. Y intercept. And there's your slope. Where's the slope in this equation? What number? Two. It's right there. What do these numbers represent? Sorry? What? Coordinates. That's your x coordinate and that's your y coordinate. Okay? So this equation is called, remember what we called it? It was the slope y intercept equation. This equation, since it gives you the slope and the coordinates of a point, is called the, oh, they don't have it. Oh, that was, oh, there it is right there. The point slope form of an equation. And it's written like this. Y minus Y1 is equal to MX minus X1. Your point is X1 y1 and obviously m is the slope again okay so it's another form of a linear equation it's still linear because why are things linear the exponent is one on the x and it's still one on the x okay so if you look at this next equation what are the coordinates of point b What are its coordinates? B has coordinates negative 4 and 1. There's negative 4. It's hidden. It's like x minus negative 4. There's your 1. And your slope, if you calculated it, even though you don't need to, because we know that is going to be the slope, but we can test it. Um, I draw a triangle like that. I went down 2. If you go down, it's negative and we went to the right three so negative two-thirds there's your slope okay you don't need to memorize this equation i will give it to you 
It's just you have to know when to use it. Okay. When do you think you use it? When what? When you what? When you don't have the y-intercept, is that what you said? Is that what you said? Yeah. It's when you have a point and a slope. You use the other one when you know the slope and the y-intercept. But if you don't know the y-intercept, and I just give you the point and a slope, use the point-slope equation. You can actually use both, and I'll show you, but you have to do a bit of extra work if you use the slope y-intercept. So, everybody skip to page 409, please. Four zero nine. <clears throat> okay. All right here. So. All right. State the equation in point slope form of a line through the given point and with the given slope. Okay. All we have to do here is just plug them in. This is our slope, m is 3. We have our point. Plug them into x and y. So it's y minus 5 is equal to 3 bracket x minus 6. That's all they're asking you to do. Okay. So what's b going to be? So what do you write? So it's y plus 1, because it's a negative, equals negative 4 All we're doing is plugging everything into the proper position in the formula. Okay? We'll do one more. Last one. Oh, I wrote it in the wrong spot. Y plus 8 is equal to 1 half X plus 9. The only trick with this is if you have a negative, it flips the sign because you're subtracting a negative. So it turns into a positive. Okay? Sorry? Well, yeah, I'm talking about this specific equation. All right. Are we okay? All right. All right, good. Uh, all right, so now they want us to write an, our answer in y is equal to mx plus b. That does not mean you have to use that equation at the beginning. You can use the other equation. In fact, we're going to use the other equation. Just our final answer has to be in that form. So the first step is you look at what information you have. I know the slope and I know a point. Therefore, I should use the slope point equation which is this one, y minus y1 is equal to m, x minus x1. So plug in everything you know. y minus 2 is equal to 5, x plus 5. Does everybody agree with that? Okay. If you do that, nope, because it's already negative 5, so it's minus a negative. Okay. If this was a test and I said write it in the form y is equal to mx plus b, you've got half marks. How do you get full marks? You have to get rid of all the brackets and write it as y is equal to mx plus b. So this is the algebra part that I was warning you about. So the first thing is the 5 gets dumped into here. So I get 5x plus 25. It's still not in the form y is equal to mx plus b. What do I need to do to make it look like that? Add the 2 to the other side. So I get 5x plus 27. Now it's in mx plus b form. Okay. There's your slope. There's your slope. And what's 27? That's your y-intercept. Or your b value okay so once we put it into that form we can rewrite it in that form and it's 
the y is equal to mx plus b is the preferred form to write it because if you're trying to graph something usually that's the form you're going to have and you know the slope and the y-intercept so it's easy to graph like we did yesterday all right b m is equal to seven the point is negative three four plug it into your formula So I get y minus 7 is equal to, or y minus 4 is equal to negative 7x plus 3. Can you convert it to mx plus b? Is that what you got? Negative 7x minus 17? Yeah? Because you're adding negative 21 and positive 4. Are we good? Yeah, it is questions. I would prefer it if you would do these questions. Uh, let's see, number one, number two, number three, three, three D and E. And four A B and C. <laughs> wow. The shoe fits. I didn't say anything. I said if the shoe fits. No, don't worry about that. Okay. So page four ten. Um, so we had the previous stuff, I would give you the point and the slope. You plug it into the equation. Now, I'm giving you the equation, and I'm asking for the slope and the point that it passes through. So remember, our equation, which you don't need to remember, I will give to you, is this. Okay? So what is the slope of this equation? 1 over 7. Slope is easy to get. All right, it's that number in front of the brackets, one over seven. Okay, the point has one little trick to it. What do you think the little trick is? Yes. The point is your x value is here, and if it's a, if it's subtracting the x value, it's just four, whatever that is, four. Boom. But if it's adding the x or the y value, you have to remember that it's actually the negative of that. So if it's y plus 11, the y value is negative 11. The other way you can think of it is what makes this 0? 4. What makes this 0? Negative 11. OK? So this one has slope 1 over 7, and it passes through the point 4, negative 11. Uh, what about B? What's my slope? Negative 7 and 9. 7 and 9. X always comes first, right? C. What's my slope? Negative 3 or negative 3 over 1 if you want. You don't have to put the over 1, but you can do it if you want to. What's my point? 6 and 0. If there's no other y value, it's just y, you know that that's 0. Okay? And D, what is your slope? Negative 3. Whoops. 
What's the point? So there's a couple. <laughs> okay, there's a couple of ways to do this. All right. One is it's not it's not six. Why is it not six? Yeah. All the other ones you have the brackets, right? That one doesn't have brackets. So this one is actually in the form m x plus b. Everybody got m, negative 3. What does b represent? Y intercept. In this case, what is the y intercept? Negative 6. If your y intercept is negative 6, what's your x value at the y intercept? So the point that goes through is 0, negative 6. Now, there's another way to do it. Okay? You could. Um, if you really want to, you can factor out a negative 3. Okay? If you take out a negative 3, okay, I factor out a negative 3. What's left in the brackets if I factor out a negative 3? X, sorry? X plus 2. So, what point does it go through? Negative 2 and 0. Okay? These are both acceptable answers. All right? And so, on a graph, what that means is, whoops. Uh, you have a y-intercept of negative 6. You have an, and if your y value is 0, that means it's your x-intercept, right? Your x-intercept is negative 2. If I could draw a line, it would go through both of those. Okay? So that's what you did. I would accept either one of those as correct answers. Okay? Obviously, this one where you just look at it and go, well, that's just the y-intercept, so x has to be 0, is a little more straightforward. But if you want to factor something out, be my guess. No. But it's a bit of extra work. Okay. Uh, last question of this lesson. So we have a graph now. I want to figure out the equation. Problem is, when I look at this graph, can I use y is equal to mx plus b form? Why not? Yes, the y-intercept doesn't go through a corner. So I don't know what its value is. I mean, it's between four, negative 4 and negative 5. So it might be negative 4.5. It might be negative 4.3, 4.2. I don't know. So if your y-intercept does not go through a nice corner where you know the actual number, you have to use y minus y1 is equal to m plus x minus x1. All right? You must use that form. Okay. Slope, we all know how to calculate, correct? So let's calculate the slope. What do you have to do if you're calculating the slope? Pick points where it goes right to the corners, correct? So I'm going to use that one. What are you doing? And that one. So what's my slope if I choose those two points? I went down 3 and to the left 4. So negative 3 over 4. I was going to write comma. Negative 3 over 4. Does everybody agree with that? OK. Now you have to pick a point that you know the exact coordinates of. Make your life easier. You can pick one of these points. Actually, you can pick any point that it actually you know the actual coordinates of. So you could use this point, too. I'll mark that point just because. Where did it go? That one. OK. What would make your life easier? What is the easiest number to deal with? Zero. Zero. Correct? Because zero times anything is nothing, right? So if you can, you don't have to, but if you can, 
pick a point that has either an x or a y value of 0. Do we have one of those? Where? The x-intercept. The y value here is? That has coordinates. Uh, negative 5 and 0. Okay? So, there... Uh, stop moving. Stop. Negative 5, 0. There's our point. Plug everything into the equation. Did I plug it in correctly? No. Isn't it negative 6? Is it? It is negative 6. Oh my gosh, I can't count. You say you know. There you go. There. Now did I plug it in correctly? Okay. Um, they want the answer in slope y-intercept form, which is y is equal to mx plus b. So what do I need to do here? Algebra. So y minus 0 is still just y. This gets dumped into here. What's negative 3 quarters times x? Negative 3 quarters x. Do we remember how to multiply fractions? How do you do it? <laughs> top times top, bottom times bottom. So if I have a whole number, you can pretend it's over 1. And negative 3 times 6, what's that? Negative 18. <laughs> 4 times 1 is 4. Can I reduce 18 over 4? What goes into 18 and 4? Yeah. 2 goes into both, so you get 9 over 2. All right. Does that make sense? Just to show you that you can do it without, by using another point. You don't have to write this down, but I'll just show you quickly. If I chose this point, let's make sure I get the coordinates right. Negative 2, negative 3, is that correct? Okay. I can do the same thing. So I'll get y plus 3, negative 3 quarters, x plus 2. Wow, very excited person. Uh, negative 6 or 4. I move the 3 over. You don't have to write any of this down. Do you know how to add fractions? What do you need to add fractions? You need a common denominator, right? So that's like negative 3 over 1. So you'd multiply top and bottom by? Well, I'm just going with this one. I'll reduce it after. So I get negative 6 over 4 minus 12 over 4. What's negative 6 minus 12? Negative 18 over 2. That's the same, or over 4, sorry. That's the same as that. Okay? It's more work if you don't choose one that has 0 in it. That's the short method of that. If you can, choose a point that has 0 as the x or the y coordinate. Okay? All right, people. So you're going to do questions 5. And would you, your water bottle? Yeah. Oh, okay. Five and six. That's all. That's all? Are you sure? Yeah. No. All oh, right. Seven and eight then. Five, six, seven, and eight. That was Emma Sparrow that advised us to do those extra questions. Thank you very much.